is in, Whirly Whirly comes forward. We're set to go from the 1400 meter marker and away and racing. It was a good enough start for them. Spring in Heaven began well. So too did Circle of Grace is up there with Midnight Caller. Never too clever. Dungeons up the center. Sam the Wiseman, Whirly Whirly, Alabama Anna on the outside with Treaty. Spring will come further back. Then came back to basics, the chosen one. Further back in the field, uh, that's racing about six lengths off the leader with fully loaded behind that in Prince of Kildare. Coming up to the 800 meter marker, they split up into a couple of groups, never too clever, the leader down the inside along there with the behind that midnight caller circle of grace and spring in heaven. Dungeons leads the outside from Whirly Whirly, then came back to basics, Treaty Sam the Wiseman, spring will come. Further back to Alabama, Anna the chosen one, Prince of Kildare, fully loaded, will have to come from last, seeking a way through towards the outside of the track. Never too clever, heads down to the last 400, the leader from Whirly Whirly, Alabama, Anna. Then came Dungeons, further back to back to basic. Sam the Wiseman, Treaty, fully loaded, cannot get away through on the outside, still trying to look for, uh, for a passage through there as they head down to the last 200. Back to basics, Whirly Whirly, never too clever, still right there. In behind that one came Prince of Kildare, fully loaded. Whirly Whirly, though, has picked it up and he has Pierre Stratum and Whirly Whirly. Pierre Stratum wins on Whirly Whirly. Second placing will go to back to basics. Third, fully loaded, Alabama Anna was fourth. Dream Star Racing, the nine-year-old, has now made it 13 wins to the winner's box and yet another top ride by Pierre Stradham. Whirly Whirly is a son of Great Britain out of the mare swing time, was bred by Mr. Mike Sharkey, and this is one of the horses that South Africa will always remember. Whirly Whirly comes back, back-to-back -back wins after not having won for over a thousand days last time out to back it up with today's win in beating Back to Basics and behind that fully loaded. Well, maybe the joke that I made before the race was wrong. Who's older, Whirly Whirly or Pierre Stratton? Because both of them look like they sprightly and uh, fit as a fiddle, full with the zest of life. Whirly Whirly won that like a four or five year old and Pierre Stratton rode that like he was 25 years old. Great to see, well done, Striker. Thank you, yeah, I'm feeling well. Mm -hmm. But Whirly Whirly was feeling even better. Um, well done to Clinton. Uh, the way he went to the start, he was just like relaxed, but you could feel he's feeling uh, around and strong, relaxed. And uh, well, he came back accordingly. So forced nine year old to win two in a row. Well done, great job. And it would have been easy to give up on him. I know that the whole idea from Clinton and the owners were get him to an Equine one millionaire and then retire him. So when I saw him accepted, I thought, oh, you know, you know, is that the right or wrong thing to do? But he's clearly such a happy horse. As you mentioned, going down to the start, he looked like a happy horse. And, and I mean, did he feel like a four or five year old? Does he feel like a nine year old from on top? No, not at all. He moves well. And uh, he still wants to get on with it. Uh, you know, early days, he was a very strong horse, couldn't hold him. And uh, When last did you ride him? Or when last did you win on him? I think probably two years ago. Uh, I was quite su surprised to see when he was entered that he's still running. Yes. <laughs> and he won his previous start. Um, obviously very happy to have picked up the ride. Um, I, I was obviously uh, not so confident of a nine-year-old winning two in a row and he got five-point penalty, but uh, shows you that's racing and force feels well and he's got the ability that can do it. Any more rides today? No, that's it. In and out? So my percentage is building up nicely, confidence as well. We're on a roll. And by the way, I saw you uh, old school, close the door on the outside. Of course, uh, best going on the outside. So in my opinion, a little bit more chopped up towards the middle and uh, obviously because of racing. And I just tried to stick to the outside. He's won it before. I think I've won him probably seven or eight out of his nine wins. So yeah, I know him well. Poetry, well done. Thank you so much. Well done to Pierre Stratum. Here comes Clinton Nordia, the, or Clinton Junior as I like to call him. Your yard's red hot at the moment. Two winners yesterday in Durban. Hollywood bets Gravel. Whirly, whirly today. But lovely story about this horse. I mean, sentimentally, equine millionaire, um, nine-year-old. Th th there's not much going for him when you actually think about everything that he is and, and how South Africans tend to read racing. Nine years old, they, they shouldn't be racing past seven. That's generally how people think. But here we are. Whirly, whirly, he's gone back to back. Yeah, no. Hundreds. I was a bit emotional when he won his last race. You know, <laughs> I said, OK, the good old... The old man, I can go to the paddock. We threw him in the paddock, actually, for two weeks. Mm. Said that's the end of his career. And I let him, uh, you know, uh, retire on a high note. They opened up the, the program again. And there was a, the, the perfect race for him, the same type of race he'd just won. Uh, Pierre phoned for the ride. He says, you know, I need to ride the old man. 
The two of us got on well. I've won many races on him. So we said, let's take a chance. I wasn't too pleased, but Mr. Binder knows what he wants to do. They brought him back into work. He, don't, he doesn't need much. He's, he's a fit horse. He's sound. And he won like a good thing. You know, well done to Pierre. I can't say, say anything about the ride. Great, 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 great ride. He already told me from the beginning what he was going to, his plans were to come to the outside. The going was going to be better there. Uh, and well done to the horse, you know. Game old man. He does us well. Well done to the owners, Mr. and Mrs. Binder. You know, the whole team at, at home, you know, we, we're going through a good stage at the moment. Uh, and let it continue with these guys. And then thanks to our sponsors, Hollywood, it's bets. Uh, without them, we couldn't do it. Is he going straight back into the paddock after this for another two weeks? I think it might work, eh? <laughs> to give him a two. I think it's mind games we're playing with him now. Maybe throw him with the paddock with the, with the fillies and then bring him back again to race. <laughs> That's a good laugh. Uh, when's your next runner, by the way? Uh, I've got one in the eighth, Ziyasha. Uh, Carrying a bit of uh, weight, but we've got the young star with one and a half kilo claimer, Sasebo. Uh, tough race, but he's a decent uh, up and coming three year old, so let's see what he does. Well done, Clinton. Thank you. Well done to Clinton and Clinton, and well done to uh, all of them involved, really, really, and, and especially to the horse. All about the horse. Nine year old, 1.1 million rand earned, 13 time winner. Just a beautiful story.